What's up, everybody? This is John from John Kill 3D Gaming here, and I'm actually back again with another review. Uh, I already reviewed Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and its uh, Modern Warfare Remastered, but I want to talk about a game that I didn't think I was going to get interest in, but I'm very interested. I, I didn't play the first one because I refused to buy an Xbox One just to play one game. That would have been very stupid. So I decided to wait, and then Titanfall 2 is the game I was waiting for to see if they would cross it over and luckily enough now I can experience the game and by what I've seen and what I've played of this game I don't I feel like I don't even need to play the first one because they said there was no story mode it was just all multiplayer in the first one this one though the story mode only runs about a good six and a half hours I enjoy the world Titanfall has set up I, I enjoy this whole Titan versus Titan pilots versus pilots it's almost like literally the the game we all played as children rock'em sock'em robots it's really much like that just crank that bitch up to 12 and have michael bay put some shit in it that's what it's like it's like if michael bay directed fucking a uh, rock'em sock'em robots movie you get titanfall except the story in this is a lot better than anything he would write but anyway titanfall 2 it's amazing it's beautiful the graphics are gorgeous the momentum and the mobility of your characters. Now I see what people mean when they said that the past few Call of Duties have tried to emulate this um, movement style, and I can feel the difference. This game has, you know, it's natural. The momentum and speed between you and your Titan, between combat, between enemy soldiers, uh, the powers of your gun, your abilities in the field, I feel more natural here. And now I can see that I don't understand why Call of Duty try to emulate something and they should just stay to their own original you know content but anyway I, I can't say for that um now the multiplayer aspects of this game uh has 10 modes and each mode is very fun my personal favorite modes are bounty hunt attrition and i think it was a mixtape 8v8 mixtape and all the guns are unlockable via through level or you get little points you can unlock the guns yourself and each gun feels balanced. The Titans feel balanced because I heard that was another thing that the Titans in the first game were overpowered. And in this game, they can die if ganged up on. And I, it's very, it's still pretty hard to take out a Titan. And you have boosters. I had to do my research of the first game. I guess the first game had burn cards. This game has boosters. So they're like little things that can happen in the middle of the fight. You can uh, upgrade your speed, upgrade your weapon. You know, give yourself a little boost in the battlefield. Now, multiplayer gets hectic really pr fucking quick. No lie. I mean, you're going to have pilots running off walls, grapple hooking, sniping, popping off grenades, titans falling from the sky. It's just the multiplayer experience is what holds this game together after the campaign. Now, if they do a Titanfall 3, maybe they should expand the campaign a lot more. They should flesh out the world even more because I feel personally that tit the Titanfall series can be a Call of Duty and Halo killer because I think after playing this game I'm, I'm and playing this in Infinite Warfare, which I might just do a comparisons video or not a comparisons, a uh, versus video, which one is better, Titanfall 2 or COD Infinite Warfare because... I feel like I should do that. That that would be a good video to do. But Titanfall 2 is one of the best games to me that I've played this year. One of the best. There's a couple of others that I played that are really fun, really hold my attention, but this game is addictive. It has an addictive nature when you start dominating in the battlefield because you could continue to stay alive. You don't die very easily. You can actually continue to chain kills if you just use your brains, build your have the momentum on your side, but then when you do die, you could pick right back up where you are. It's it's a 50-50. No one's overpowered. Everybody is almost on the same par with one another now obviously if you have skilled players you will get dominated but most of the time this game it's very easy to pick up you don't even need to play the first one like what i've been told and by what i've seen you don't even need to pick up the first one play this one um if you don't want to play call of duty or play battlefield one titanfall 2 is your next best bet because i'm gonna play battlefield one next i didn't pick it up day one because i feared server issues that type of shit you know you don't understand what i mean but I'm going to pick it up probably Black Friday or Christmas. So the rating I give Titanfall 2, I give it an 8 out of 10. It's because, one, 
I feel there's some areas they can improve. You know, the short story is one of them. The for what they did give us for the five and a half, oh no, six and a half hours was good, but still, I wanted more out of the story. And with free DLC or free updates, map packs, you know, that's a plus. So, Titanfall 2, you guys, if you don't have it, you should pick it up now. It's worth the 60 bucks. It's very fun. Get your friends together. Get your Titans. Go into the field and start blasting away.